Every year, Offensive Security releases a new version of their Kali Linux OS. In this video, I will be showing you how to install the latest version of Kali Linux on Windows. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and like this video as it helps me grow my channel and tells me that you guys are enjoying the content. In this tutorial, we will be installing Kali Linux as a virtual machine on our host OS. That means that we are going to run an operating system inside our host operating system using virtualization. To better visualize this, imagine this blue box being your host OS, in this case that's Windows, and the red box is the Kali Linux OS that we are going to run inside Windows. The first thing we need to do is to head to the kali.org and virtualbox.org websites. Both of them will be linked in the description of this video. We will need to install VirtualBox first so that we can install Kali on it. We can now click on Download VirtualBox and then click on Windows Hosts. This will download the installer for VirtualBox. Once this is done, we can click on it and then continue with the installation. So now we just need to click yes and next to everything. And it has finished installing. This will be the environment that we are going to run the virtual machine from. We can close this for now and continue with the next step. Now that VirtualBox finished installing, we can download the Kali Linux image. Head back to the Kali.org website, click on Download, Virtual Machines, and download the machine for VirtualBox from this button. I will click Save, and now I'll need to wait for it to download. Once the Kali image finishes downloading, we can find it and then click it. This should open a VirtualBox window asking you to import a virtual machine. You don't have to change anything here, just click import and wait for it to end. You click agree. And now just give it some time. Also, to avoid some confusion, you will not get these VM groups on your VirtualBox. These were previously added by me. Now that this is done, we can click on the machine and then click on Start Machine. This will open a new window where Kali will be running. So essentially, we are going to run another operating system inside Windows. Once it gets to this login page, just enter the credentials Kali for the username and Kali for the password. And there you have it. You now have the latest version of the Kali Linux OS installed on your machine. If you have any questions regarding the installation process, make sure to join my Discord server. You will find the link in the video description. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something new. I'll see you in the next one.